everybody, my name is Valicia and you're watching with the Gemini. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about The Last Black Unicorn by Tiffany Haddish. She did a great job with this cover. It's really pretty. This is kind of like her autobiography. I say kinda because it doesn't really feel like an autobiography. It just kind of feels like somebody just telling a series of different stories. It doesn't follow a strict timeline, so it doesn't start from when Tiffany is a child to adulthood. It goes from when she's 22, back down to when she's eight, and then it'll fly back up to 21, then it'll fly back down to 16. So the timeline was not in chronological order and that there hurt my nerves. And I'm just nitpicking. Tiffany is a very funny comedian actress, so what I was expecting and what I got was completely different. I was expecting to hear funny stories throughout this entire book and just get a good laugh, but I ended up getting so much more. She goes in deep and she tells us stories that pretty much changed her life. These are stories of her life lessons that hit hard, they changed her opinion about something, they made her a better person. This book has a lot of adult content and that includes abuse, molestation, profanity, sex. I laughed so much throughout this book and I cried too. The stories in here, they're either gonna make you laugh, cry, or cringe. Tiffany dropping jewels, she dropping knowledge, she dropping game. In the beginning of this book, she kind of gives a brief paragraph of an invitation to invite you into her life. And she says that she decided to write this book because she wanted people to look at her and think if she can do it, then I can do it. And I definitely think that she made her point. There's a lot of different situations in here, scenarios that would halt people, would make people give up on their dreams, would make people kind of bow out of life, but she just keeps going and she keeps fighting. And that was very inspiring to read because some of the situations that she go through is pretty bad. And some of these cringeworthy stories, like she's making a joke about it, but she's just like, that's not, that's not funny. And I get it now. It's not funny, but she made it through it. She's looking back on it like I survived that. The lesson that I got out of this book is to keep going no matter what. One thing that I wanted more out of this book is more details on her career, more details on the steps that she took to make herself so successful. It didn't get down to those nitty gritty details of, you know, you not taking no for an answer or that fight and that determination that she had to go through in order to get into Hollywood. And then on top of that, she does do name dropping in here to where she does mention uh, other celebrity comedians, but it's a few in here that she does not reveal who they are because they were such an a-hole to her. I'm like, come on, Tiffany, come on, give us the tea. We want to know who these dudes are. Overall, I gave this book four stars out of five. I really enjoyed this book. I am rooting for her. I am probably going to go find out about everything that she's been in because she is just a awesome person. And that is it for today, you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel now and bye-bye.